Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. I'm your host, Lokinder Kumar, and today we're going to discuss uh, nephron. In this video, I'm going to discuss all the structural components and uh, their function. If you have watched my previous video on kidneys, uh, you might be aware of uh, this term, which is nephron. This is basically the structural and the functional unit of the kidney. In this video, uh, we're going to design these uh, structural components and then we're going to label them. At the same time, we're going to discuss their functions. So before I move to my main slide, I want to show you another slide, which is this one. As you can see, uh, this was my previous video where I have designed the structure of kidney. And I have made some changes. As you can see here, the uh, the font size and uh, the uh, specific type of font is uh, changed because uh, the font that I was using, uh, this was a little smaller and a uh, little hard to read on the mobile phones or the tablets. So I have decided to change the font. And right now I'm using a bigger font so that you can see what I'm trying to show you even on your mobile device. So I hope this is going to help in understanding the topic. As you can see here, this was my previous video where I have shown you the structure of kidney. And now we're going to discuss the structural and the functional unit of kidney, which is nephron. In my previous video where we have discussed the cortex, medulla, calyx, I'm going to use some of these terms in my uh, video. So I hope that you have seen this video so that you can understand uh, this, this video on nephron. All right. Let's jump on to the slide and uh, as you can see here, I have these uh, components that are already designed and then all the text labels for those structures. So before I start with the glomerulus or the Bowman's capsule, I'm going to start by just showing you the structure of the kidney. As you can see here, this is the structure of the kidney and uh, it has the cortex region and the medulla region. It's important because when I discuss uh, uh, specifically the nephron, uh, the part which is loop of Henle, I'm going to tell you that uh, the uh, basically Henle, loop of Henle starts from uh, the cortex, cortex region and again run through the medulla region and then comes back to the uh, cortex region. Anyway, so I hope that you have a good idea about the structure of the kidney. And if you don't, then please uh, do watch my previous video. All right, I'm going to delete this and then I'm going to drag my first structure. Uh, not like this, uh, like this, so that we have uh, the glomerulus and the Bauman's capsule visible to us. So as you can see here, I have designed this uh, with the two distinct colors. You can see here these uh, capillaries, they are moving into the uh, Bauman's capsule. And this is the structure that uh, uh, is uh, glomerulus and then surrounded, which is surrounded by the Bauman's capsule. All right. Before starting this particular uh, structure or uh, discussing the nephron, I do want to mention some of the important features of nephron. Nephron is the structural and the functional unit of kidney. Each nephron is basically a coiled tube which is held together by a tough fibrous tissue. Right? And uh, another important point is it helps in the ultrafiltration process and uh, it has several components. So let's uh, drag out these components as well so that we have complete nephron on the slide. So here I'm going to make it a little closer to the PCT region. So as you can see here, this is our nephron. So I'm going to move this label here to the center of the slide. Now let's start with glomerulus. I have already told you this particular structure is the glomerulus and I'm going to move, uh, not move, but label this and show you by using an arrow. So this is your glomerulus and uh, before uh, discussing the function of a glomerulus, I do want to mention that the the uh, nephron, its size is typically 30 to 55 nanometer. And now moving on to the glomerulus, 
Glomerulus is basically the network of filtering capillaries. So as you can see here, it is enclosed by the cup-shaped structure, which is Bowman's capsule, right? And it has uh, these uh, two vessels. One is basically afferent arteriole, and second one is efferent arterioles. Uh, the function of afferent arteriole is uh, to bring the blood, and efferent arteriole is to collect the blood. Now, how the process of ultrafiltration happens is because of the blood pressure right here and you have that process of ultrafiltration uh, happening in uh, in in basically this structure here now let's move on to the second structure right which is bowman's capsule so as you can see here the name indicates the capsule the word capsule and you can easily see the structure which is cup shaped structure this is the bowman's capsule and i have the label for this as you can see here clearly. So this is the Bowman's capsule. Now, what are the important points regarding the Bowman's capsule? It is double-walled cup. So basically, this is cup-shaped structure which is made up of two uh, cellular walls. And uh, the important point is the inner membrane or the inner layer is formed of the specialized cell called podocytes. And the outer layer is basically made up of epithelial cells. So this is important because if someone asks you about uh, podocytes, so you can easily answer that question. Now it basically is connected. It is basically connected to the PCT, which is proximal convoluted tubule. So let me label this. After that, we'll discuss what is PCT. PCT is basically the tubular region right after the Bowman's capsule. Uh, let me label it right and then you have loop of henle we'll discuss that later so pct what is the important feature of the pct pct is a wide tube and it has columnar epithelial cells and those cells basically are brush bordered or have the microvilli so why because most of the reabsorption happens here so we need extra surface to increase the surface area we have those structures so the cells basically are like this. So the boundary will have these specific structures like microvilli structure that uh, that is there to increase the surface area. So you can see here, somewhat like this, you have the, the cellular shape in, in the PCT. And why it is like that? Basically to increase the surface area. So this was an important point, and I've already told you that uh, it increases the surface area. Now the role of PCT is basically to maintain the electrolyte and the acid base balance of the body fluid, right? And the important point is water uh, and the electrolyte, and a major portion of the electrolyte is uh, absorbed here. It's also known as tubular reabsorption. Now, moving on to the loop of Henle. Loop of Henle, as the name indicates, is the loop region. So, you can see here, this is U-shaped loop here. And let me label it first. And then, this loop has ascending as, ascending as well as the descending limb. Right? So, I'm going to move this text right here and uh, ascending limb text here. And then using the arrow, I'm going to show you this one is the descending and the other one is the ascending loop right here. Okay. And it starts from the cortex region and then move down to the medullary region and then again uh, move back to the cortex region. So this is important. Now, what is the diff distinct feature between features between the descending and the ascending loop? It's important. Uh, and uh, if I, I want to explain the most important point, which is the descending loop is permeable to water, but it's completely impermeable to salt. Okay, so this is important. And then the ascending loop. Ascending loop is basically imperme impermeable to water, but it is permeable to the sodium ions. Why? Because it can it can then increase the interstitial body fluid concentration, interstitial fluid, fluid concentrations. Now, these are the two distinct regions of the loop of Henle. 
Then we have DCT. DCT is another important region in the nephron. And this is where it starts and this is where it ends. This region is the collecting tubule. So let me move this collecting tubule here as well. I'm going to label these. This is the DCT. Okay, and then you have this region which is collecting tubule right here. Okay, so it looks like we have labeled everything. And uh, we now need to discuss basically the function of uh, DCT. What is the function of DCT? DCT is very close to PCT, as you can see here. DCT is uh, uh, very similar to PCT also. It helps in the secretion of uh, hydrogen ion, potassium ions, ammonium ions. So this is important. And uh, it also helps in the reabsorption of the bicarbonate ion. Okay. And sodium as well as water is reabsorbed here by utilizing the cellular energy in the presence of hormones. So it's important. And then you have the collecting tubule, right? What is the function of collecting tubule? This is a straight tubule, as you can see here, it is a really a straight structure. Also, its, its function is, to, is the collection of the fluid coming from the DCT. Okay? And the major and the most important role is the reabsorption of almost three-fourths of the water from the urine. And that's the role of collecting tubule. That is why the urine is highly concentrated. As you can see here, we have discussed most of the parts of nephron. And what is nephron? We already know structural and the functional unit of kidney. And then you have glomerulus, Mormon's capsule, PCT, loop of Henle, DCT, collecting tubule. And then these are two different limbs of loop of Henle. We have discussed almost all the parts. And we have also touched base on basically the introductory points regarding these structures. Now, I hope that you are ready to read about this structure. You are ready to understand the function of each region. This is basically the introductory video so that you can, uh, you know, get yourself prepared for the whole topic. And, and these are really important. And I want you to read more about DCT and the PCT. Uh, and because uh, this is really important topic as far as the function of the kidney is concerned. So I hope that uh, this video lecture was helpful for you to understand the nephron. I will bring you more uh, videos in future. And if you want to see a specific uh, video or, a, uh, or if you want me to make a video on a specific topic, please let me know in the comment section. And if you like the video, then please do hit the like button. Thank you and take care.